See what this is going to take us over to. And also, I want to see what's beyond the green door. We haven't gone there yet. I want to see what's over there. And this is getting really interesting, though. This is getting really, really interesting. I want to see how far down the rabbit hole this goes, you know? Oh my god. What have we got? Wait, are we- oh! Oh, the golem room, yeah. There's three doors here, too. The same as what we found on the other side of the blue door. But... Looks like two of them are already unlocked. So it does. The center and rightmost doors both say open. Perhaps the layout here is different. The golden door was one to the right. And it's open. Hmm. Whatever. Let's take the door to the right first. The golem door, that's where we're going! That's where we're going! <gasps> and in the golem bay, in the golem bay, we can find a... Yeah, we go! We can find the key! There we are. There we are, back in the golem bay. <gasps> and we can find the key for Sigma! And unlock the back of his neck! <gasps> yeah, huh? What is this room? That looks like a workbench of some sort. Maybe. But what sort of work? Well, we had to find Quark and look at a workbench. You go check out the far end, alright? Very well. Nothing. He's not here either. Hey, Kay! How, how's it going over there? Kay? Can you hear me? Kay was bent over with his back to me, peering underneath a thing that looked like a workbench. <gasps> He's gonna find the key, isn't it? What the hell? I walked toward him as I spoke. Hey man, what's going on there? Oh, nothing. I bent down and saw he was staring at something that appeared to be a safe. It's empty. Oh, no, it's empty. Wait, how is that empty? Yes. Was there something in there before? No, it was empty when I found it. Was it? Yes. Then what are you doing staring into an empty safe? I was... thinking. Specifically, I was thinking about who opened this safe. Wouldn't that have been the team that went through the green door? I think that was Dio, Fi, and Clover. No, that's unlikely. When we met up with Dio, he told us that he had been in the treatment center. The nameplate on the store says this is the Golem Bay, however. So you're saying they didn't go here? I believe that is the case. Which, as you can see, is why I was puzzled. If Dio, Fi, and Clover did not open the safe, who did? Well, there's no point in thinking about it. We should get back. Yes, and there was another unlocked door, wasn't there? Yep. Let's get moving then. I wonder who would have the key though. Somebody took the key out of here. The golem door. They had. The, they went to the treatment center. They wouldn't have gone to the golem bay, would they? Unless they did. Unless they did. No, they said they went to treatment center. Now what's in a treatment center by any chance? Let's check this place out. Ooh. So this is the treatment center, huh? This is the room that Dio visited. Don't you think that's kind of strange? Until now, all the chromatic doors have led up to a single room each. So why are there two rooms on one side of the green door? An excellent question. We can talk to the others later, I guess, and see if they know anything. Kay and I split up and began to look for places where Quark might have hidden, or small holes he might have escaped through. What are these? They must be the treatment pods Dio mentioned. The windows are covered up with frost on the inside. I can't see it. Shall we open it? Yes, might as well. Have at it. What, 
What? Well, found the kid! Quark! No. Oh no. His bracelet is off! His bracelet. It's... Oh god! Hold on, Sigma. Calm down. Look at his chest. Can you see it moving? What? Quill pressed a finger to Quark's wrist. It was faint, but his heartbeat was there. Oh, he's still there. He's, he's alive! He's alive! What a relief. I'm so glad to know he's safe. I laughed out loud and grabbed Kay in a bear hug, or at least as much as one could manage. He patted me on the back and shared what I thought might have been a relief chuckle. But if he's still alive, why is his bracelet off? Zero Jr. said it would only come off when you died. Perhaps Zero Senior took it off? What? Why? I have no idea. Then, maybe Zero Senior brought Quark here and put him in this pot thing too. Well, even if he did, we don't have any way to know why. This pod is for medical treatment. Perhaps Quark has contracted some sort of illness. He's sick? What has he got? Well, how would I know that? In any event, we should return and let the rest of our companions know that we found Quark. I imagine Tenmyoji in particular will be pleased. Yeah, I bet. Do you think you can carry him, or...? No. I believe it would be best to leave Quark here. As I mentioned, there is a chance he has fallen ill. If so, then removing him from the pod would be dangerous. The treatment he is currently undergoing could be compromised. Oh. I'll close the pod's cover then. Is that alright? Yeah. Sure. The Van Quark though, holy shit! Wait, um, I just thought of something. Are you sure he's gonna be alright? What do you mean? Well, what happens if he wakes up? Can he open that thing on his own? He'll be fine. I noticed a lever inside that can be used to open the cover. So long as no one locks the pod, he should be able to leave whenever he wants. But if someone locks him in, he's screwed. Yes, that is what I said. But you needn't worry. You see? I have not engaged the lock. Now, we should return to the Floor B warehouse. I imagine the others are already there. Right, yeah. Okay, let's go. This is getting really interesting. Oh, this is getting cool. Alright. Alright, so we found Quark. We gotta let him in you know immediately. But he doesn't have a bracelet on him. Which means somebody took it. Somebody must have. This is interesting. Really interesting. You're late. You're one to talk. How much earlier did you get back again? I'd be surprised if you searched at all. This is it? Yeah. Clover and Tenmyoji still aren't back. So, find anything? Yeah, we sure did. Yeah? Well, go on, spill it. And explain to them how we found Quark in the treatment center. I see. Oh, well, that's good to hear. Jerk, making us all worried. There is more. And that is? There is still some cause for concern. Just spit it out. Quark may have contracted an illness of some sort. As such, he has been left in the treatment pod. Will he be alright? Yeah, he'll probably. Probably? Do you even... Whatever, at least we found him. Ooh, now that I think about it, we did find the article about some sort of a disease that was happening to people. I wonder... I wonder if Quark contra... I wonder... Ooh, I wonder... What if Quark contracted the disease that we found in newspaper clipping? And that's what Tamiyoji brought up to Zero, because Zero said he would have a cure for this. What if he did that with all of us? He lured us all in with a with a sign of a cure, with like a possible like like say like coaxing sense, like saying, "Hey, I got a cure. If you come with me and become my experiments, I'll give you the cure." Could be. Pretty lucky he's alive too. What do you mean by that? I mean what I said, genius. I'm glad he's not dead, aren't you? As equivocal as ever, I see. How kind of you to say so. So was Quark all you found? 
The way you were talking made it sound like there was something else. Yeah, I'll explain that after Tamiyo and Clover get back. There's something I wanted to ask you about first, though. When you went through the green door, did you search two different rooms? Two? No, just the treatment center. I see. Then, what was the other one? What do you mean, the other one? You know, with the... You know, with that intersection with three doors? Well, when Kay and I were there, two of the doors were unlocked. You guys unlocked the one that went to the treatment center when you went through the green door. Yeah, so slow, wow. But the other one... Who could have opened it? Don't look at me. I told you, we only opened the one that went to the treatment center. Could it have been Zero Senior? I don't know. Hmm. So did you and Kay go through the other door? Yeah. What was in there? Nothing really. It appeared to be some sort of room for servicing something. That doesn't make any sense. So what the hell was whoever opened that door looking for? Who knows? Then Miyoji and Clover are running rather late. Should we go and look for them? No, there's something I want to check first. It's never easy with you, is it? Well, let's get it over with. What are we checking? What's happening here? Huh. Oh, yeah! This is the rec room. Dio and I came here earlier when we were looking for Quark. So why are we here? Was there something here you needed to see? I said nothing, and instead made my way over towards the cabinet. Inside was the luminol I reached in and put it out, then handed to the light switch, and then handed to the light switch and flipped it. The room went dark, and I headed back to where the others were still standing. Whoa, whoa, what is this? You gonna start telling ghost stories or something? Why, you scared of ghosts? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Then show me how brave you are. Stick at your bracelet. You too, Fi. Please. Our bracelets? Yeah. I want to see the underside of them. What do you mean by that? I mean the side of the bottom. The side that doesn't have the display on it. Come on, you really gonna make me explain this? I know what you mean. What I'm asking is what the hell you think you're... Just do it. It's not hard. Should I also participate? No, you're fine, Kay. The bracelet is a little different from ours. But I'll join in just to make sure it's fair. Yeah, Kay's bracelet is like embedded into his, um, uh, like, armor arm. Armor arm. Armor? Yeah, well, embedded into his armor, I'll say that. There was a brief moment of hesitation before D on Fi stuck out the arms. I held mine out as well, wrist pointing upward. This okay? Yeah. And just hold it like that for a moment. As fast as I could, I pulled the luminol from my pocket and sprayed it across all three of our wrists. Ugh, cold. What the hell, man? Jiu jerked his arm back with a shout. I don't see anything glowing. Five's bracelet is clean. So is mine, of course. That leaves only Dio. Wait, what are you talking about? I'll explain in a minute. Just show me your bracelet. Dio? Is something wrong? Just show it to me. Come on, Dio. We don't have time for this. Why do I have to do what you tell me to? Dio? Dio, you better- Dio? You better not be Dio. What is- Because I'm trying to prove your innocence. Oh, like hell you are. I don't know what you're looking for. But you're not gonna find it on me. Then just show me your arm. No! You don't get to order me around, I have rights! As he spoke, Dio made a break for the exit. He didn't get far. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Dio. <laughs> he spun around toward the other exit. Stop him! Right! Don't know what you're talking about, but okay. All three of us leapt at Dio. An actual cinematic! Oh my... An actual cinematic! We just got an actual cinematic in-game! And his bracelet lights up! I knew it! His base is glowing. And that means... Let me go! Get off of me, you fuckers! 
Dio. You killed the old lady. No! You don't understand. This is all some kind of... a mistake. Shit. What's going on here? I think it's about time you gave us the full story. As quickly as I could, I explained to Fai and Kay that I had noticed on the old woman's wrist. So the person with the bloody bracelet would have to be the person who killed her. Yeah, exactly. Even if they wiped it off, I figured the Lumina would still react to the blood. Looks like I was right. He did. There we go, there it is. I've got you, Dio. Might as well confess. Well? <laughs> Alright, fine. You caught me. I did it. I killed the old bitch and took her bracelet. He did? Oh my god! Did he? Wait, is he just saying because he just... Is he just uh, admitting... I've been that position just for the sake of admitting the accusation so we would get, get off of him? Or did he actually do it? Why? Are you Zero? No. I was under orders. I was sent here to... To do... Something. To do what? No, you get me to say to do something! To do what? Who gave you this order? I'll die before I tell you. See, orders were more important than Alice and Luna's lives. Whoa, whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I killed the old lady, but that's it. I don't know anything about what happened to Alice and Luna. That wasn't you? Tread carefully, Sigma. This man is not to be trusted. He has already shown he is willing to lie and kill. Come on, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Even if we do believe you, you're still a killer. You just haven't killed as many people. Exactly. He should be restrained somehow. If we leave him be, he may well kill again. But where would we put him? Is there a room we can lock or anything? Ah, perhaps we could put him in one of the treatment pods. Once we've locked it, he should be unable to escape. Oh yeah. Hey, wait! I'll be good, I, I promise! Yeah, I think you're onto something, Kay. Let's go with that. Come on, please! Hey, listen to me! Well, we'll let you out when the white door opens. Someone's going to need your bracelet to open to open the second door. Don't fuck with me, you guys. There's no way in hell I'm going in that thing. Let go! Let me go! God damn it! I told you assholes to let me go! You can't do this! Stop! Stop! Please stop! Please! No, you can't! We got him! And he admitted to it. He admitted to the murder. Now who sent him? Who sent him to do it? That's a big question though. Open this fucking thing! I said open it, goddammit! I don't think so. Ugh, you're gonna pay for this! When I get out of here, I'm gonna fucking end you! Damn! Oh my god, he is mad! He's really pissed! But no, there is a reason why he he admitted that he was sent here to kill somebody and to kill, I think to kill the woman. He was sent here by somebody to do some, he was sent here by somebody to do something. He, he didn't say he, he didn't say he was supposed to kill somebody, but he was sent here by somebody to do something and he had to participate as part of the game. What? Oh my god. What is this? This is going... This is going nuts already. I'm glad I picked this route. I'm glad I picked this route and see what else is going on here. So, I guess we figured out who the murderer was. We found Quark. Now all that's left to do is find Clover and Tenmyoji. Yeah. Why don't we head back to the warehouse and start from there? They may have already returned. Good point. Let's go. might be in a warehouse or they might actually be mm, I don't actually know what's gonna happen with them to be honest I hope they're okay though I hope we'll see I guess warehouse B hopefully they're back honestly we also got to get the bracelets back from Luna and Alice so we can continue forward <laughs>